Membrane filtration technique is a very common and effective way to enumerate or detect specific microorganisms or a group of microorganisms in a water sample. This method is normally used when the microbial number is low in water sample. Hello viewers, today we are going to enumerate E. coli and coliform bacteria in a water sample using the membrane filtration technique. Welcome to MicroChem's experiments. Be with us, be a laboratory expert. We divided the whole procedure into seven steps. Culture media preparation, filtration unit preparation, filtration unit setup, filtration of sample, incubation, result observation and reporting. Throughout the method, we need a balance machine, incubator, membrane filtration unit, sterile petri plates, biosafety cabinet, membrane filter, measuring cylinder, forceps, microwave oven, and chromocult coliform agar. At first, we will prepare culture media. We can prepare chromocult coliform agar media by dissolving 5.5 grams dehydrated powder into 100 ml distilled water. Boil at 100 degrees Celsius in microwave oven for 2 minutes and distribute 15 ml into sterile petri plates. Now we will make the filtration unit ready. Enclose each part of the filtration unit with aluminium foil paper and autoclip to sterilize. Let's set the filtration unit. Take the filtration unit parts into the biosafety cabinet. Additionally, we need sterile measuring cylinder, filtration unit locker or clamp, sterile forceps, membrane filter paper of 0.45 micrometer. First of all, attach the middle part with the lower part or collector flask. Secondly, place the filter paper on the middle part appropriately. Thirdly, place and adjust the upper part on proper position of the filter paper. Finally, fix the parts using a locker clip or clamp. All those steps should be done aseptically. Now we will filter our water sample. Mix the sample properly before taking it for the test. May 
laser 100 ml of water sample and transfer into the upper part or funnel. Now connect the filtration set with the vacuum pump and turn the pump on. Filtration of water is running. You can see all the water sample is filtered out. Now turn off the vacuum pump. Detach the vacuum pump. Remove the locker clamp. Now remove funnel of the filtration unit. You can see the filter paper on the center of the middle part. Transfer the filter paper on chromocalt coliform agar for E. coli and coliform. Don't invert the filter paper during transferring on agar plate and filtrite should be remained upper side without touching the media. Filter paper should be placed in a way that no air is trapped under it. Use XLT agar plate for salmonella species, TSA for total plate count, MSA for Staphylococcus aureus, cetrimide agar for pseudomonas species and so on. Cover the plate with lead and label the plate with sample name. Incubate the plate at 35 degrees Celsius for 24 hours and don't invert the plate while keeping inside the incubator. Take out the plate after incubation. It's time for result observation. This is our test result for E. coli and coliform bacteria count. You can see enormous number of blue and pink colonies on filter paper. Consider only blue colonies as E. coli and total blue and pink colonies as coliform. Count E. coli and coliform bacteria if possible, otherwise dilution of sample is needed before filtering. In the same way, select and count other bacteria according to the media used if you test your sample for other microorganisms. Now we will make report of our test result. For example, we found 70 blue colonies and 120 pink or purple colonies on the filter paper. So the result should be reported as Total coliform is the total number of blue and pink colonies which is 190 colony forming unit per 100 ml. Total E. coli is only the number of blue colonies which is 70 colony forming unit per 100 ml.